So this is another new series where I talk about popular games that I don't particularly care for. You know, it could be games that I've never played and just don't have any interest in, or it could be games that I have played and just never really clicked with. Either way, the intent is not to crap all over the game and call them awful or bad or anything like that. It's just to kind of try to explain to you guys why I never really got into these games and also to try and help myself understand why that might be. But before we get into the video, I just want to thank everyone who's been watching, clicking the thumbs up, subscribing. It's been going really well and I'm just really happy to see people enjoying the content. If you're watching this right now and you're not subscribed, please go take a look at the rest of my work. And if it looks interesting to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. The current goal is 100 subscribers and if you can help me get there, then I would really appreciate it. And of course, please check out Pyro Games if you're looking for retro games in the UK. The link to the store will be in the description below and if you decide to buy anything there, I have a discount code for you. Just type in consoles only, all one word, all caps, at the checkout to receive 10% off your entire order. And again, as always, quick disclaimer, I'm friends with the person who owns the shop, but I receive absolutely no money, no kickbacks, no free games, nothing of any description for this advert. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the first game that I don't really care for. And this is actually not going to be a single game, this is going to be an entire series. And that series is The Legend of Zelda. And yeah, I know this is kind of a big one. This is kind of one of those where it feels like if somebody doesn't like this game, they must have something wrong with them, you know? I even feel like there must be something wrong with me for not enjoying this series, but we'll get into that. And also I should say, it's probably kind of obvious, but I don't have any footage of these games to show you because I don't own them. So what you're seeing in the background is just random footage, but I will put up the box art for some of the games and little bits here and there, just to sort of illustrate my points. But I suppose I should start at the beginning, really. I didn't own an NES. I was actually born in 1988, so I didn't play the original Zelda or Zelda 2, which released, I think, in 86 and 88, respectively. But I did own a SNES. But again, I would only have been around about four years old, I think, when Link to the Past came out. So again, I, I never played that. But what I did own was a Game Boy and a Game Boy Color, which is where Link's Awakening came in. Now, I didn't play the original on the Game Boy, even though I owned a Game Boy. I played the Link's Awakening DX, which was the one that had a black cartridge, if I remember. So I guess Link's Awakening DX on the Game Boy Color was my first ever Zelda game. And as far as I'm aware, it was basically like a re-release of the original with some added bits and obviously in color. And, you know, being only four to five years old at the time, I didn't really understand what I was supposed to do in the game. I just wandered around a lot, cutting bushes and, you know, not really doing anything. I didn't really get what I was meant to do. And I was probably just a bit too young to appreciate what it was at the time, even though at this point I was about 11 years old because the Game Boy Color version, the, the DX version, came out later, a lot later, in fact. I think it was 1999, if I remember correctly. But yeah, despite being about 11 years old, I still didn't really get the game I, I, for whatever reason. I have no idea why. I was just very much used to um, side-scrolling platformers and stuff where it was just you started a level, you tried to get to the end of the level, whereas Zelda was quite a basic RPG and I was kind of new to that whole thing at the time. I just didn't really get what I was meant to do. Which, looking back at it now, <laughs> seems kind of stupid, but like that's just how it was. But having said all that, I would really like to try the remake on the Switch someday. I, I think I will pick that up because really this is the first Zelda game I ever played. So I think I'd like to give that one another go. But after this, I suppose we move on to the N64 era. And this was a lot of people's first and favorite Zelda game, Ocarina of Time. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to deny that this game was pretty revolutionary for its time. And, you know, many games today actually take inspiration from it. And it's no doubt a legendary game and deserves its place in history. I'm, I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong for thinking that. This is kind of a me problem, you know, it's not the game's problem. But I actually owned an N64 and, you know, so did a lot of my friends. And they pretty much all played and loved this game. I played it a little bit at their houses from time to time. And, you know, I watched a lot of it get played while I was there. And I even tried playing it for myself when the 3DS remaster came around. And I must have got something like four hours into it. And I just gave up on it. I 
I, I just don't get it. I just never cared for it. And you know, that's just the thing, right? I can admit that that's my fault. It's not the game's fault because it has millions and millions of fans. It's just something I could never click with, you know? And as I said right at the beginning, the meaning of these videos is not to crap all over these legends, but it's just to kind of show how weird things like preferences and likes and dislikes can actually be between different people. And you know, when I got to play the game a little bit myself and when I watched it a lot, I just, I just never clicked with the characters or the environments or the world I just never really cared for Link as a hero I just I don't know it, it was a weird thing there must be people out there who feel the same but perhaps for a different game you know another really popular game where you're just like I don't like this but everyone else seems to am I weird it's like I mean you are kind of the odd one out like I am in this situation but it, it's fine it, you don't have to like it I don't think there's anything on the planet that's going to be universally liked by everybody but I guess long story short the game just never spoke to me it just never clicked with me and then of course when it came to the next one majority as mask i just never engaged with it and never once wanted to it was just i i was aware of it i saw it in you know nintendo magazines and stuff and um i, I just ignored it kind of my again my friends had it and they played it and they loved it but i was just never never into it and then after that there were of course some you know more game boy games gba games and all sorts of handheld versions of zelda but really the next big one i guess would be wind waker on the gamecube now again, I owned a GameCube, as did a lot of my friends, and again, most of them loved this game when it released, and I think my brother really liked it if I remember correctly. I seem to remember him having a copy of this. And again, just like before, I played it various times and watched it a lot and saw other people playing it, and yet I was not impressed and it didn't click with me again. And I was really into the cell shaded graphics. Funnily enough, a lot of people I knew said that the graphics were the worst part for them because they wanted it to be more like the originals. And I was actually saying, no, I actually quite like the graphics, which is absolutely typical. Um, I, I really liked how it looked, but I really wasn't into the game. I didn't care about Link. I didn't care about the world. And it's not really for lack of trying because I have tried playing these games and I have got into them. It's just one of those things where you just simply don't care about it and that doesn't mean it's bad it just means it's not for me if that makes any sense and I just didn't feel the want or need to own it or play it I, I, I just didn't it just wasn't there for me and trying to explain this is a really really difficult thing I, I've had this when it came down to games like Shenmue as well where people some people like myself love it and some people absolutely hate it and say it's the most boring thing they've ever seen it is literally a person by person Thing. And I don't think that there's any real way to adequately explain how that works. Because essentially each individual person's likes and dislikes are shaped by so many things that happen in their life day to day that it would be impossible to try and track down why you love something. Now obviously a lot of people love stuff because of nostalgia. I do. I absolutely love stuff that's nostalgic to me whether it's Power Rangers or Transformers or whatever it is right. But I suppose that could explain why I'm not into Zelda. I never played the one on the NES when it was the new big thing. I never played Ocarina of Time for any relevant amount of time and therefore didn't really grow up with Zelda being one of my childhood games like a lot of people did which would explain why I don't look back on it with that nostalgic kind of reverence you know but anyway after that there was of course some more GBA some DS games as well and I never really played any of those I was just kind of indifferent to them I heard they were out didn't really care didn't really do anything with those but then came Twilight Princess on the Wii and again I owned a Wii and I actually played um, quite a few games on there. My, my favorite game on the original Wii was actually Mad World, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. But Twilight Princess is probably one of the two Zelda games that I know literally nothing about. The other being Skyward Sword. So I'll probably just bundle that in here with this one. But I really can't even talk about them very much because I don't know anything about them. I've never, never played them, never watched them being played, nothing. I literally know nothing about them. I did notice that there was a Skyward Sword remaster coming for the Nintendo Switch, so I might give that a try one day. I'm not really interested in it, but I might. It all just depends on how things go. But as I said at the start of this video, one of the games that I'm genuinely interested in trying out is the Link's Awakening remaster on the Switch. That one I could see myself actually enjoying because of its 
top-down style and its simplicity, even though I couldn't figure out what to do back when I was a kid. Um, I, I, I just I just think it would be more fun. I, I like that style, and I think it would work better for me as someone who's not really a Zelda fan. But if I do end up picking it up, I'll be sure to let you all know what I think of it. Now, okay, I guess we're up to the really big one now, Breath of the Wild. Now, I bought this with my Switch back in 2017 when the Switch released. I got this game with it day one. Yeah, that's all I had. I had this console and that game. And I started playing it. I was enjoying it the first two, three hours. And I got to about, hmm, let's say about seven-ish, maybe eight hours in or thereabouts. And I just dropped it, man. I just did not want to play it anymore. I found it real dull, real boring. I just did not want to play it anymore. And some of you must have had that situation with a game before where you're just playing it and you're like, I'm not enjoying this and I don't know why. I think it happens to everyone with some game, but this one, I was so disappointed. As I've said before, it's not that it's a bad game. Not by any metric is it a bad game. It's just really not for me. I just, I don't care about the world. I don't care about Link. I don't care about Zelda. I don't care about any of it, Ganondorf, whatever. I just don't care. And I didn't want to play anymore. There wasn't that drive to keep playing. And I, do you know what? It's funny. I can't even really tell you what the drive is supposed to be because get this, right? I was able to play the division two for like 400 hours. And once you've completed the story in that game, like what, what, there isn't really much to do, but I enjoyed playing it. So I, I, I don't know. Is it, is it just a very deep down mechanics based thing where it's just the simple act of the way you move the characters or the, the loot that you pick up? I, I really don't know. It's so hard to explain, but the point I've been trying to get across really in this whole video is just that I am wrong, but it also doesn't matter that I'm wrong. It is wrong to say that I don't like this game because by all accounts, I should like it, but I don't. And that's okay. People can like different things. And of course, on the other side of the coin, not like things. As someone who's played video games for close to 30 years at this point, I can see that Breath of the Wild is a good video game, a well-made video game, something that people absolutely love. I see it, I really do. But it's just when I go to play it, I'm just not interested in it. And as I said, I've tried really, really hard to sort of explain why, but I just, you can't, it's so difficult. Some things just work for you and some things just don't work for you. There's plenty of popular games out there that I'm just not interested in. And there's also plenty of unpopular games that I am interested in. And I'm sure it's the same for a lot of you as well. And another point I alluded to earlier was the nostalgia factor. If you're someone who grew up with Ocarina of Time or the original one on the NES or whichever one was your first game and you've always been, you know, a Nintendo fan and you've bought every game all the way up to Breath of the Wild, I can see why you'd be excited with it. And I'm not, before anyone says it, I'm not trying to say you only think it's good because of nostalgia. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that really helps shape how you feel about certain things. Because I, I've said this before, I love the Michael Bay Transformers movies. Yep, all of them except for Bumblebee, which isn't a Michael Bay film. But my point is, I like the five movies. They're kind of garbage, if I'm honest, but I just love them because I love Transformers so much because of the nostalgia it brings back to me. And I think that's the same with a lot of games. Nostalgia is something that a lot of people try to really pass off as being a bit of a crutch. They, they try to sort of say, well, you only like it because of nostalgia. And my answer to that is, so? Why is that bad? Why can't I like something because I used to like it? I don't really, <laughs> I don't really understand the thinking there. I don't really think it's a bad thing that nostalgia forms your opinions. I, I think it's fine because as I always say to pretty much everybody, life is too short to care about these kind of things. Enjoy the things you love and simply don't engage with the things you don't like. It's a really simple thing to comprehend. And I'll say right now that there's very little chance of me ever playing Breath of the Wild 2, so that's probably completely off the table at this point, but I'd really like to know if any of you out there feel the same way about this game, actually, or, or this series, I should say, or perhaps you feel that way about a different, popular game and you just have no care for it. I'd really like to hear I'd be so interested to know um, because this is one of those things that I'm putting up, but it feels like I'm inviting abuse, if that makes any sense. But um, it's it's just me trying to be honest about stuff. And, and I've said, if you like these games and you think they're amazing, I, I think you're right. I think they are amazing, but I think they're just not for me. And that seems like a perfectly good place to end the video. So as I said, if you're someone that's got a popular game that you're thinking of that you just really don't like or don't engage with, do let me know in the comments down below. All of the links to all of the important 
important stuff is in the description down below. Remember to leave a thumbs up or subscribe if you want to. And with all that said, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.